is the future of cancer treatment in this lab, where a simple blood test could match patients to personalised cancer care? I thought, right, somebody made a big mistake. In 2021, doctors gave Pamela Garner-Jones the most horrific news. So they said, well, sorry to have to tell you that you've got cancer, and it's stage four, cervical cancer. So I said, oh, is it operable? So they said, unfortunately not. Right? So I said, oh, I said, in that case, then I better go and name my funeral. <laughs> Pamela had several years of treatment to keep her cancer at bay. They worked for a while, but her tumour returned and grew. NHS options exhausted, she was told about a trial which would analyse her DNA and her cancer's genetic mutations. Genetic and DNA testing for cancer treatment does already exist, but until now it's been done with a biopsy, which can be intrusive, painful and also take time. The difference here is it's done via a simple blood test. Here, the patient's blood is prepared for analysis to examine the cancer at a molecular level. There are tiny bits of DNA that can come off the cancer that circulate around in the bloodstream. And what we're trying to do with the, with the blood sample is from one or two tubes of blood, we can do some special tests and we can extract the DNA that specifically come from the cancer so rather than treating just generically with chemotherapy type drugs, if we understand what's going on at a DNA level in a patient's cancer, we can look to select something that's more personalised to them. Pamela's blood results matched her to a trial immunotherapy treatment that's seen her tumour shrink by more than half. Honestly, I couldn't ask for anything better. The symptoms have gone. I've got more energy, my appetite's brilliant. You know, you're not pumped with no end of drugs. Just a simple blood test. Yeah, I'm made up, like a dog with two tails. 6,000 patients will be part of the blood test trial that's called TARGET. If successful, researchers hope it'll become routinely available on the NHS. Catherine Avtotsi, Sky News, Manchester.